Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Gio, and today we're going to talk about how people are mad at Mr. Beast. Hey everyone again, uh, I'm back with another video, and uh, wouldn't you guess it, if you couldn't tell by beginning just sort of by context clues, this is another video involving Twitter, like the greatest platform on the planet because people get offended by things every single day. But specifically, I'm going to be talking about a series of tweets that have been going on involving Mr. Beast and what he spends his money on. I know, which is really cliche, I guess you could say. But uh, to lay sort of like the groundwork of what's going on, basically Mr. Beast, who I'm pretty sure you've heard of, unless you live under a rock or something, uh, people have been going after him because they're saying that he needs to spend more money on like people who need it compared to like spending it on challenges and things and uh, number one I want to say how I don't agree with that because while he is spending the money on like big prizes and stuff like that he kind of needs it to keep his channel alive in the first place and he also needs big market uh, sponsors although I will say though I do believe that he is doing good work when it comes towards charity and donating because Mr. Beast we know has made a ton of money considering he has around 17 million subscribers but the real issue that I'm seeing here is how th they're sort of being petty like literally Mr. Beast of all people is known as one of the most generous youtubers on the platform considering like most of his revenue he even makes from videos he loses since he doesn't even spend his money on himself like if he really wanted to he could be like sitting in a yacht right now like drinking champagne or like bathing in gold I don't know I don't know what rich people do but uh if he really wanted to he could be taking all that money and spending it on himself but if you look at his videos even if they are big challenges at least he's spending it on other people and it's really funny because the whole thing that sort of started and sparked this whole thing was a tweet by this person after he made a tweet talking about how a video was coming out on Christmas and how it was going to be a really big video, like bigger than the $800,000 island. And uh, this was a tweet that responded. This was a person that got offended. Oh great, you mean more YouTubers and friends get money and prizes while you could use your vast resources to help others. So, funnily enough, Mr. Beast responded to that by linking the videos to his videos involving supporting team trees, which is basically donations towards adding more trees to the earth. Uh, videos involving donating to charity, videos involving getting animals adopted, pretty much all these videos showing good things that he's done, and like, obviously good things that you should do anyways, but pretty much he, he kind of like just stood up to the girl completely saying like, oh I don't spend my money on charity, explain this, but uh, there were a lot of other people that kind of like stood up for the person that got mad at him too. And, I mean, obviously, like, the vast majority, including me, where all people are like, no, he's, he's fine, like, he's, he's not spending it all on charity, but at least he's spending a majority of it on other people rather than himself. But, uh, so there was a huge majority of people on Twitter also, like, sort of respecting the person that got offended by it and sort of supporting them, which, I mean, shocker, it's Twitter. But, uh, pretty much... Another thing I also would like to bring up when we're talking about this is the fact that, again, a lot of Mr. Beast videos that he makes are actually where he's make losing a majority of money in the process, and he has to sort of live on his channel and his, his uh, sponsors to do it. Like, that's why he's always being sponsored by people like Honey or Lords Mobile, because while he is maybe making a ton of money from these videos, he's still like requires these sponsors if he wants to survive and with the amount of growth and how much he's really blown up recently that's pretty much the only reason he's there and like he's he's already said several times how he doesn't care about like the money he doesn't care about the money he doesn't care about like himself it's all he wants to take the money and put it in towards bigger projects and bigger videos for the entertainment of other people and to me, I respect that. Like, I gotta give him mad respect and props for that. Like, again, like, he could be like other people and just, like, spend all the money living on, I don't know, like a penthouse or something. But he doesn't do that. He, uh, 
he actually goes and he spends it on other people. So, if anybody else is sort of offended by this, I guess what I would say to note, note from it is the fact that, yes, not all money is going towards charity, but again, he's put a lot of money towards charity that most of us will never ever be able to donate in our life, or maybe not even see in our life. And even when it's not charity, like you can watch some of his other videos where he's doing challenges, even if he's not like doing a certain challenge, like I'm going to quote one of his videos recently about where they had to press a button several times until eventually one of them gave $100,000. Even in that video, he was still having one of the challenges where you had to go out and give money to a random person. And he's always giving out money to the people. Like his uh his Mr. Beast Burger brand that he just came out with that has like 300 stores across America. Even then, in his video where he first like started talking about it, where he opened a like a restaurant and gave money to go eat there, he uh he gave money for the people going there, and he even like was even more generous for the people who needed it most. Like in the video. I, I specifically remember there was this one part where one of the cars broke down. Like, I'm not even kidding. Literally broke down because there was such a long line to get to the burger restaurant. And, um, just think of Mr. Beast as a person. He literally went out and he donated a car. He donated a car to them because their car broke down. And they want to call him selfless and say he's, he's not doing enough with this vast majority of resources. To me, that's just insane, and you just sound more privileged when you say things like that. Because he's donated, all, I would say, millions of dollars at this point towards other people. Like, not even towards himself. None of the money goes towards him, even if it's not to a charity. It's still going to one of his friends, like Chandler or Chris or Carl. And there are other times where you can also pick up on a pattern of the challenges. Yes, a lot of the main people, like Carl, Chandler, Chris, and maybe like Tyler, are on the videos. But at the same time, he also does bring in these other people. Like, they're still part of the crew, but it's people that have never had any screen time and potentially have never been in a challenge where they've given money. So to me, it's just a really selfless thing to do. Like, another thing that I sort of think about is the fact that Jeff Bezos, the, uh, like, the inventor of Amazon, there were people that were getting mad at him for on only donating $100,000 to charity. And to me, that's just, that's just really wrong. Like, it's almost to the point where, like, Christmas is coming up literally in, like, a day as of making this. And that's like opening a present and they get you, like, an Xbox and then having a meltdown because they only got you an Xbox, like, instead of, like, an Xbox One S. To, I, it's sort of a weird metaphor, but I'm just trying to emphasize the point that they sound like little spoiled brats when they don't think about how much he's really done for us as a humanity in the first place. He's poured, like, tons of money into making a better environment for the Earth. He's poured tons and tons of money towards helping people in need. And he's also given out money where people could just be randomly, like, on the streets. He doesn't know the backstory to them. He doesn't know what's wrong with them. But, uh, he just goes out and gives them money. So... If you're gonna take away one thing from this video, just sort of as a moral of the story, so I'll listen up. If you're gonna take one thing from the story, don't be a brat. If someone's giving you millions and millions of dollars in donations towards better things than himself, don't get upset with him because he didn't give it to a specific sort of group or didn't do enough in your eyes especially since he is still making videos now meaning he's donating more and more money and like i said like most of his videos that he's using for production he spends like over eight hundred thousand dollars on videos he could be using that 800k on something else like himself but he doesn't and it just makes me think about how like how whiny people are and how amazing it is that people can even be this way so, Christmas is also coming around, so I guess you can kind of tie that into. Be thankful for every present you get. Be thankful for his donations. And, uh, pretty much just don't take for granted what you have. Because at any moment, he could just stop 
Like, if they really wanted to, he could just go and stop donating and, like, completely be quiet. But that made that guy's made so much money that he could just retire forever. So, anyways, that's going to be the video for today. I, uh, I just kind of wanted to talk about that because I was seeing videos surfacing, like, around this topic. And I also was seeing things on Twitter involving it. So, uh, please consider subscribing, liking, maybe hitting that comment button or sorry please consider subscribing liking maybe leaving a comment and uh, as always stay awesome stay quarantined